सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल हुए आर वी सिम्प्लीफाई द कॉम्प्लेक्स सब्जेक्ट फॉर बी टेक सी सी आई टी स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग उथ यूनिट वन ऑफ द इंट्रोडक्शन टू इंडस्ट्रियल मैनेजमेंट वी नो दैट वी ऑलरेडी कवर द टोटल चैप्टर्स बट दिस इज द टू पॉइंट ऑफ वर्शन वर वी विल डिस्कस इन डेप टॉपिक ऑफ ईच चैप्टर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल एक्सप्लोर द fundamental concepts that define how systems and organization function in the world of industrial management we will break it down into the simple terms and relate it to the real life examples to help you to get a clear understanding so let's dive into the world of management and organizations so now system the concept the definition the types and the parameter variable and behavior a system refers to a set of interconnected components working together to achieve a common goal in industrial management a system could be an organization a production unit or even a supply chain we will discuss each topic in the detail in the in our next videos okay so system can be classified into open or closed system depending on how they interact with the environment parameter define the system properties while variable represent the system's changing aspect so behavior of the system reflects how it respond to inputs and produce the outputs shaping its overall performance okay so now management it refers to the process of planning organizing and leading and also controlling the resources to achieve the organizational goals efficiently okay so the key functions of management are like planning which involves like setting the goals and deciding how to achieve them like organizing which entails arranging the resources and task leading where the managers motivate and guide the employees and controlling which monitor the progress and the make necessary adjustment so management is crucial in all industries to ensure the smooth operations and goal achievement okay so now organization structure an organization structure defines how tasks are divided the resources are allocated and authority is distributed it helps in achieving the organizational goals such as the efficiency the flexibility and the scalability factors like the size of the company the nature of work and the business environment influence the structure formulation common types include like hierarchical flat matrix structure each type has its advantages like better decision making or the improved communication but also drawbacks like the slower response time in the hierarchical structure this structure are applied based on the organization need okay so now division of labor division of labor refers to the breaking down the work into the smaller task to increase the efficiency scalar processes refer to the chain of command within an organization while the functional processes define the specific roles of each department the span of control refers to the number of employees a manager can effectively supervise delegation of authority involves assigning the responsibility and the authority to subordinates centralization refers to the decision making by top management while decentralization allows for the lower level decision making each having its own advantages and also disadvantages in terms of control and the flexibility okay so organizational culture and the climate organizational culture refers to the shared values the beliefs and the behaviors that shape how employees interact okay 
organizational climate on the other hand it is the atmosphere or the feel of the workplace including the how policies and practices are perceived by the employees while culture is more about long term behavior climate can change more quickly factors such as the leadership style the company policy and the employee interactions affect both the culture and also the climate so moral factors affecting the moral and the relationships with productivity so moral refers to the overall attitude confidence and the satisfaction of employees in an organization high moral usually leads to a better performance and teamwork factors such as the job security the working conditions and relationships with supervisors play a key role in shaping the moral a positive correlation exists between the moral and the productivity motivated employees are more efficient whereas the low moral can lead to a reduced output and also the increased absenteeism okay job satisfaction job satisfaction is the level of contentment employees feel about their jobs okay so like the salary the work life balance the opportunities for growth and the recognition for work satisfied employees tends to stay longer with their jobs perform better and contribute positively to the organization addressing employee needs and also providing a supportive environment are crucial for maintaining the job satisfaction so the important provisions of the factory act and the labor laws the factory act outlines the regulation to ensure the safety the health and the welfare of workers in industries it include the rules about working hours the safety measures and the worker rights labor laws on the other hand govern the employment conditions the wages and the employee benefits these laws are designed to protect the workers from the exploitation and ensure the fair treatment in the workplace compliance with these laws are essential for maintaining a healthy industrial environment so now that's wrap up of unit 1 of introduction to industrial management we have covered some fundamental concepts that lay the ground break for understanding the industrial management make sure to subscribe for the more simplified lesson and don't forget to hit the like button if this video helped you in the next video we will dive deeper into the cpa band part which are critical tools for project management so see you in the next video